Hello Aries. Uh, this is L here to do your 72 hour energy reading. We will cover career and finance, love and romance. I have um, pulled the cards for the sake of time. All right, so let's get into this. Um, so for love and romance, at the bottom of the deck, we have eight of water. Um, for some of you, you may be dealing with a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You may be at a place where uh, you want to move on. Some of you are questioning, you know, your spiritual and emotional growth is, is in question. You're really wanting to find something that resonates with your soul. You want to feel like you're on the right path, not only for your own life and your own existence, but in partnership also. Some of you feel like you're on two different pages. Some of you feel like you're just not going to get where you want to get to. Happy home, happy family life, children, uh, home, car, dog, all of that. So you're in search of. Um, you're also thinking about why. Why hasn't it manifest yet? Or why hasn't it ever manifest for you? Um, for you to be, for some of you, it'll be a, a second go round. So, okay, let's see. We have the Hermit. What did I say? Some of you definitely are on that spiritual journey, wanting to find enlightenment through life experience. Why? Why this? Why that? Why has this happened? Why does this always happen? What am I doing wrong? Really examining yourself and really looking to be self-reflective and looking to see where you fell short separating yourself from the crowd too uh learning yourself by uh self mastery and expertise self discovery here uh six of water definitely looking over your life once again seeing what is healthy what you know what fits with what doesn't also looking at your health and fitness but in regards to relationship, most times platonic relationship, some of you are romanticizing a past, a past situation with someone, putting a little bit too much into that situation, overshadowing why this person may be an ex or why it didn't work, but only thinking about the good. The sixes are about balance, about equality maybe there wasn't uh, a balance or there wasn't inequality you need to see you need to analyze six, the six talks about analyzing data in regards to um, you can only analyze data if you have historical you know reference historical data correct sorry for the, the mowing outside um, okay Aries and we are back sorry about the mowing anyway so yeah six of water talks about you needed to you may be looking at a situation where you think you're thinking that someone is made for you but this card says analyze the relationship find where this fits for you uh, or fits in your life is there a sense of usefulness with this situation for some of you, it's going to be yes because you're dealing with the king of earth. Either he brings abundance or he brings a sense of protection, providing for or being provided for. Uh, this is a, a very stable person, a very stable man, a very um, astute individual, a very like a businessman, someone who makes really good decisions in regards to several people at one time this is a good supervisor business owner higher up very responsible professional and practical uh this could be either a successful time for you or this is your counterpart and you are um 
definitely uh, like I said some of you are wanting family the eight of cups the eight of, uh, governing the reed wanting this protector this provider two of cups some of you feel like this is just the the relationship for you this is um this can be a successful relationship if not already in a relationship you need to practice forgiveness and you need to understand that even in this in the midst of conflict that this could turn out very well for you uh this relationship is growing or has grown closer uh together but once again uh we have six and two which make eight this is a relationship that hasn't been all either off and on or it never really had a solid foundation to stand on it there was never real uh title status here because someone has to walk away from something someone has to see the usefulness in this relationship i think that aries sees it but maybe your counterpart is slow at making necessary changes in order to really offer to the relationship something solid and stable which could very well be aries uh wish wish come true someone has to come out of a merger that they're in in order to be with aries aries you or they or maybe both you see that aries wants to be chosen also there's a sense of commitment here you could be dealing with a piscean person capricorn virgo taurus of course Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo here. I mean, you could be dealing with anyone. Don't get too hung up on the signs, but this is a situation where a person is in emotional contemplation about knowing that they feel for the connection, but then they have to, they go back to practicality and they go back to being realistic about making necessary or wanted changes so you're dealing with a person who is uh, going to be slow to move and also a person who has to be practical there could be children involved in this decision to walk away to move away from uh, the advice here we'll go to the shells we have ring the the aries is wondering when will they get a ring closed we have spiritual definitely job and we have jealousy all right so we have a sense of jealousy maybe because there is one There's one party who the king of earth has obligation to. It could be you, Aries. It could be, you know, um, or it could be the adverse. You're dealing with someone who has obligation to another person, but has love for you. With the king of pentacles or the king of earth, obligation a lot of times is going to come before love because this person is practical um the advice here is for you to set yourself apart be very spiritual about this and really analyze is this worth the 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 weight or is this worth the heartache um you need to ask yourself is this situation closed am i continuously knocking on a closed door
you may find that you you want a ring and you may be jealous of someone who has one or vice versa you may be you Aries may be saying to yourself I'm finding myself in a ring of of you know cycle cyclical going in a circle a ring a ring is is a circle I'm, I'm doing the same thing or the same thing is happening and you may be asking yourself why once again the hermit and the eight of water going on that spiritual journey spiritual the advice here I knew it the advice here is choose a new direction for some of you look and I oh gosh I hate when these cards are true and then uh you know it's it's all coming together at the bottom of the deck we have unlikely choose a new direction it's unlikely that this person is ever going to i won't use the word ever but it's unlikely that this person is going to make the 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 change of choosing you anytime soon because this is a very practical person and they don't move off of emotion and we have a lot of water here we have a lot of emotion here so it might be ideal for the Aries to choose a, a new direction you allow for this person to feel the void that will be you and then they can make necessary change keep in mind change comes when things change people don't change change changes people so if everything stays the same there's no reason for someone to wake up in the morning and say aha let me make a change no the, the the catalyst would be for the Aries or it could be the cross watcher for you to say you know what I remove myself from this ring and then you allow for individual to fill the void of you being gone then that's when people start to contemplate and then act on real change so Aries that is that um, we're gonna go over to the website and clarify what's going on here also I'm really feeling like it might be third party someone met at a job they work together or something about the job you see the person at the job or anyhow let's talk about career and finance so at the bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune nice Jupiter, and Sagittarius, uh, Piscean energy. Luck, luck be a lady. Hopefully, it's, it's me. I have Aries rising, right? <laughs> um, your luck is changing. It's shifting. Good luck is with you. It's on your side. But it's also about timing. Also, the perfect time wait for the opportunity the, the jupiter governs Sa uh sagittarius and then sagittarius is one of the luckier signs um which governs the will of fortune as you can see um they're here on the card i believe um the sagittarian is not a patient person not by nature not in a sense of they wait for other people but the Sagittarian will wait for the prime opportunity to take action to pounce and that's why they're so good at uh, revenge and, and vengeance because they wait for the prime opportunity um I say that to say this that luck is on your side Aries but do know that 
it's all about timing too and you don't control luck you don't say I'm I'm lucky therefore I'm going to spend my whole paycheck on uh, scratch offs because I'm lucky well the universe didn't you don't know how you're going to be lucky you know so don't go and take that into your own hand but do know that luck is with you all right so we have the knight of swords some of you could be switching changing career job and doing it rather quickly there could be an opportunity that presents itself you're going to have to take action do think it through even while taking action the moon card here the three of wands and the six of cups again okay so we have a lot of our aries people thinking about the past romanticizing a better time a better space there can even be some good Samaritan that comes in and helps here helps you along in something there's an element of someone being older and younger there's an element of someone being more wise giving to contemplate why they're giving to you but don't contemplate it too long I'm hearing that they may be helping you because at one time whether it was physical or whether it was verbal this person may have beat you down they either talked bad about you talked bad in regards to you and now they feel like they need to be this to you nice to you sweet to you they may have held something back from you Aries is also acting in regards to their career and maybe finances. You you may be holding back an element of not speaking about your true intentions or your plans more so. let's see magic yeah you could be you could have been doing some moon magic at the the full moon you release and at the new you you bring in and you do your manifestation work and then you anticipate and then this comes in for you I'm here that this is someone that uh, could be a family member friend someone close to you Someone that you didn't think would give or do, whatever that is. But there's things unknown hidden here. Mom, yeah. Some of you have guardian angels that could be your mother. Or your mother is helping you. Kids. Your mom could be helping you with your kids or you are a mom with children. We've got stop. And we've got crazy. Okay. Um, we've got leaving as the advice card. There, there could be an Aries traveling leaving moving away from moving toward going back to if even if that is temporary going back to something or some place that they called home someone had to move back home 
someone is helping something came to a stop some people think maybe your judgment is crazy because at the bottom of the deck we have sobriety so they want you to maybe your your thought process is not clear at this time you are not thinking soberly we got brother and sister here something about the brother the sister there's something unknown to the mom about the kids but mom is doing some type of magic here this is career and finance I don't even know why fam family is all over this but career and finance it looks like you're changing shifting careers there's someone helping you leave maybe an old way or old existing dynamic behind you're finding some really good energy help the good Samaritan that comes in and helps you shift the it helps you find balance again but not for the a put the particular reason of because they want to help you it's because in the past they did something they said something you didn't know about that may have hindered your journey so maybe now they're, they're showing up in your life as a good Samaritan okay we're going to go over to the website and further clarify what's going on here for my Aries um, let's see who is this king of earth let's ask the question Who's the king of earth? And what does he bring, Aries? Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. What's the advice for Aries? Oh. Yeah one more okay all right um and let's see for career and finance the things are turning for you they're turning about remember to put yourself first Aries I don't know why that is resonating for me okay nice okay 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 Aries looks very interesting go ahead and if you if you're feeling moved to get the extended reading the link is below take advantage of the extended reading also take advantage of the 72 hour energy reading just like this where you can get cards pulled for love and romance career and finance I just pull cards for you you do not ask me questions you cannot send a list of questions it's just the energy for the next 72 hours okay all right so that link is below also Aries know that I'm praying for you pray for me as well take care guys bye